Sydney Uni Sports and Fitness welcomes all domestic and international students to this live stream yoga presentation for the University of Sydney's Orientation Week 2021. We're proud to offer all students a safe and supportive environment in which to keep fit, make friends and maintain a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Group fitness classes offer a supportive and motivating challenging training environment for all people from high intensity training to yoga and pilates we're here to help you achieve your fitness goals in a safe and a fun environment my name is paula kimberley and i'm presenting yoga today a regular yoga practice will release tension in the body improve posture balance and strength bring heart mind and breath to coherence and Create a balance uh, in all of our body systems. So, grab your mat, grab a belt, yeah, a little strap, or even a tea towel, a scarf, yeah, and let's start. Yeah? We're going to start standing today in Tadasana, mountain pose. Yeah? Big toes together, a little bit of space in between the heels. And we're just going to start just with a little shake, just to release a little bit of tension, just to get the sillies up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake. Nimbles up our fingers for lots of tapping. And then we relax. Just let it settle. Okay, we're going to lift our toes, spread all of our toes, plant the toes onto the floor. We're going to gently lean forward into the toes, into the ball of the foot. And then we gently bring our weight back into our heels. Feel the buttocks squeeze, tailbone scoops down, palms face forward. We breathe in as we lift the chest. Exhale, we turn hands down and stretch through the ends of the fingers down towards the floor. Inhale, lift. Feel the chest open, feel the shoulders open. Exhale, turn hands down and through, pushing toes down into the floor. One more time, breath in and slowly breath out through the mouth. Yeah, little dynamic breath. Inhale. We'll do six a little bit quicker. Five and six. Then we turn our hands out. Breathe in. Big toes together. Plant the toes down. Yeah. Breathe in. Lift the arms up. Touch fingers. Look up. Make the legs strong. Exhale. Turn hands out. Peel fingers back. Arms come. And again, inhale, we lift up. Big breath into the belly and the ribs, the arms stretching, fingers touching. Exhale, lower the arms down. Push through the heel of the hand, fingers back. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. All the breath out. Beautiful. Feet shoulder width apart. Just take the feet shoulder width apart, toes point forward. Hands coming to the lower back. Heel of hand sits on the bottom rib, palm of the hand covers kidneys, fingers point to the toes, legs are straight, big breath in. And exhale, we gently squeeze the bottom, pushing the hips forward. Just feel your buttocks squeezing, feel the legs straight, and feel the ribs lift off the hips, looking straight ahead. Inhale, and again, exhale, squeeze the buttocks, legs strong, gently opening the front of the body. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Squeeze the bottom, legs are strong, push the toes down, feel the toes engage, elbows squeeze. Inhale, lift, and we lower the arms down. Interlace fingers behind the back. Yeah? Fingers interlace, nice big breath in, and exhale, we lengthen the arms, feel the chest lift. See if you can draw the hands gently away from the body. Inhale, bending elbows, and again, exhale, gently stretch the arms, one more time, inhale and exhale, arms lengthen, drawing the hands away from the bottom just a little bit and inhale, gently release. So we're going to release the hands, we feel this little bit of lightness in the chest, yeah? We're going to take it a little bit further, big breath in, fingers interlace behind the back, exhale, arms long. If we can, we're going to squeeze palms together, if we can, squeeze Squeeze palms and stretch fingers down towards the heels. Inhale, bending elbows. And again, exhale. 
squeeze the palms together, stretch the fingers, feel the chest lift, feel the shoulders roll back. One more time. Inhale and exhale. So feet is shoulder width apart. We're going to hold everything here. Take a breath in and gently, just to begin, soften knees, bend the knees, fold forward, belly rests on thighs, head to the floor, arms lift to the ceiling. Inhale as we gently lift up, pushing down with the toes, lifting the torso. Exhale, stretching fingers, lift the chest, bend the knees, belly to thigh, head to the floor, arms lift to the ceiling. One more time, inhale, lift. See if you can keep your legs strong and straight this time. Exhale, we fold forward, push toes down, crown of the head to the floor, arms lift, beautiful. Inhale, we lift up and gently release the hands. So we feel this lightness in the chest, feel the legs, strong, feel the feet, the sensation of connection through the soles of the feet. So we're going to take a nice big wide stand in extended hand and foot, arms are wide, feet are wide, toes point forward, hands forward, we just pivot on our right heel, turn the right toes out, lift the chest, stretch fingers away from one another, make the legs really strong, big breath in and exhale. Over we go. Just to begin, easiest version. Hand rests on the shin, top fingers lift to the ceiling. Gently kick the heel out, just a little bit, tiny little bit. If you can, back of the hand against the inside of the leg and top fingers lift, big breath in. We turn our head and look up to the fingers, push the toes into the floor, make the legs strong. Breath in, top fingers lift, breath out, bottom fingers sink towards the floor. Inhale as we gently lift the torso up and lower the arms down. Turn toes forward, we pivot on the other heel. Huh? Toes are turned out on the left leg. Hips and collarbones are in line with the side edge of the mat. Arms lift, shoulders relax, fingers stretch, big breath in. And exhale, over, all the breath out. Take the hand to the shin, just to begin, just so we can stack top shoulder over bottom shoulder, fingers lifting, if you can. Back of the hand against the inside of the leg. We gently kick the heel out incrementally, tiny little bit. Big breath in and big breath out. Ujjayi breath, lips closed, teeth just parted, tip of the tongue sits on back of top teeth. As you breathe in, top fingers lift, feel the rib cage lift and open. As you breathe out, legs strong, bottom fingers sink to the floor. And then inhale as we gently lift the torso, arms come down. Toes turn forward. I'm just going to step back just a little bit. Toes turn forward. Fingers interlace behind the back. Big breath in. As we did, exhale. Stretch the arms nice and long. Feel the chest open. Feel the legs strong. And we're just going to walk our toes in just a little bit to the outside edge of the mat. Toes turning forward. Big breath in. And we fold forward. Leading with the chest and then the crown of the head to the floor. Arms lifting to the ceiling if we can, pointing index fingers up. Inhale, we gently lift the torso and relax the arms. Just let it settle. We feel this lightness come to the chest. Feel this beautiful lightness come to the arms and the shoulders. Feels like we've got a little bit of air in there. So feet are a little bit wide. We take it a tiny little bit further. Gently build on the function we're creating. Palms forward. We turn our heel out. Take a nice big breath in. Feel the chest lift. Feel the fingers stretch away from one another. Shoulders relax and over. Either hand to the shin or back of the hand against the calf. Lift the top arm. Gently kick the heel out. Turn the palm towards the head. We're still looking straight ahead. And we lower the arm down by the ear for hook. Big stretch into the side of the body. Stretch the fingers long. Push the feet down onto the floor. Breath in and breath out. In and out through the nose if you can. Inhale and exhale. So the lightness of the breath is being balanced with the strength of the asana. Inhale, we lift the torso up and lower the arms down. Turn toes forward. Turn the other toes out. Now, don't let the hips turn. We want to bring the hips back to centre. 
hips and collarbones in line with the top edge of the mat. Arms lift, chest lifts, fingers stretch, shoulders relax, legs strong, big breath in and exhale over. Back of the hand against the inside of the leg, top arm lifts, heel kicks out slightly. Yeah? Look straight ahead, full hook pose. We take a breath in, lifting top fingers, turn the palm to the head and we lower the arm down by the ear. So what we're looking for is the side edge from the hip to the little finger, stretching by pushing the heel down onto the floor. Feel the legs strong, breathe in and breathe out. One more, breath in and breath out. Beautiful, inhale, lift the torso up and lower the arms down. Turn toes forward, wide leg now. Fingers interlace behind the back. Big breath in, lift the chest. Exhale, stretch the arms, gently folding forward. All the breath out. See if you can lift your arms up. See if you can feel your feet push into the floor. Index fingers, point to the heaven. Nice big breath in as we lift the torso up and we gently release the arms. Heel toe, heel toe to center and what we want to do is bring our heels together toes out feel the chest lifted and light feel the shoulders and heart lifted and light feel the hands light just take your focus to just one point on the floor in front our drishti point our point of focus and awareness breath in feel the belly feel the ribs the chest all lift and light as you breathe out, feel your heels engage. Yeah. So we take a breath in here. We're going to bend our knees and just come down into a little squat. So we want toes out, heels together. And then we take our hands to our knees. And then we feel the chest lifted. We focus on one point, just one point on the floor in front. As you breathe in, breath comes up to the chest. As you breathe out, hands rest gently. You feel your sit bones anchor down on the heels and the belly softens, hips soften. Breath in, chest lifts, tips of shoulders broaden. Exhale, belly pulls into spine. Sit bones anchor to the heels, then palms together. Push the palms against one another, lift the chest, breathe in and breathe out building concentration and focus and balance all at once hands down yeah knees down front of feet on the floor yeah? bring the knees just a little bit towards one another tiny little bit together hands behind us nice big breath in and exhale lift the bottom Gently push the knees down, push the front of the feet onto the floor. Inhale down. And again, knees push down on the mat as we squeeze the bottom lifting hips. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Hands down, front of the feet push down, chest lifts, shoulders roll back. And inhale, lower down. We come up and gently slide forward. We want to keep our bottom on our heels, arms are long, spine is straight, big breath in, and then we slide the hands forward. Rib cage settles down in between the thighs, ears in between the arms, crown of the head tilts to fingers. As you breathe in, feel the back lift and open, expanding. As you breathe out, gently feel everything soften and settle down towards the mat. If you want, come up onto fingertips, yeah? Sinking the armpits and the chest to the floor. Inhale and exhale. Then we come up onto all fours. We're going to come straight into puppy. Hips stack directly above the knees, arms are long, scoop tailbone up, and we sink the armpits down to the floor. Crown of the head is tilted towards the end of the mat. Inhale, we gently lift. Exhale, we scoop tailbone up and lower the armpits down to the floor. And again, inhale, we lift. 
Exhale, we lower the arms down. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Scooping tailbone up, lowering arms down. If you can, take your eyes to the top of the mat, walking fingers forward gently. We settle the chin and the chest on the floor. And then we gently lift the armpits and we slide forward into Sphinx Pose. So for Sphinx Pose, we bring our elbows directly under our shoulders, elbows directly under shoulders, and then we pull them back. So they're immediately under shoulders. We take our, we find our shoulders up near our ears like this. So we take a big breath in and push down with the elbows and lift the chest, yeah? Now, if this is too much on the lower back, gently slide the elbows forward. Yeah, so normally it would be like this, we're looking straight ahead. If it's too much, just walk the elbows forward, gently takes it out of the lower back. Okay, palms down, forearms down, chest is lifted, collarbones lifted, looking straight ahead, big breath in. And exhale, we lift our right leg, just lift the right leg, just a little stretch, a little lengthen, Inhale, lower down. Try and keep the arms down, the chest lifted. Exhale, we lift our left leg. Inhale, lower. Right leg lifting. Slowly lower the leg down, breathe in. And exhale, left leg lifts. Little, little bit of length. Inhale, lower down. And then we lower the torso down. Turn the head to the side. And just bring the arms down by the sides, palms face up, and we just allow the body to catch up. The brain can process information and stimulus in milliseconds, yeah? But the body, the muscles, the tendons, the joints, they need just a little bit of time to catch up. We feel the breath soft. We feel everything starting to calm down a little bit. Okay, so hands under shoulders. We want our, the tips of our fingers no further past our top of our shoulders. And we're going to bend our right knee. Left leg is nice and long and straight. Elbows glued to the ribs. Shoulder blades slide down the back of the rib cage. Forward on the mat. Nice big breath in as we slide the nose, we lift the chin, push the hands down, and we look up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale as we lift. Sliding nose, lifting chin, hands push down. Straight leg pushes down onto the mat. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, we slide the nose, lift the chin, look up. And exhale, lower down. And then we swap legs. Straighten that right leg. We're going to bend our left knee. Hands under shoulders. Elbows tuck in nice and tight next to the ribcage. Shoulder blades slide down the back of the ribs. Nice big breath in as we slide the nose. Lift the chin. Look up. We feel the belly stretch. And exhale. We lower down. One more time. Inhale. We lift. So a little half cobra. Yeah squeezing one side at a time. Last one. Nice big breath in as we gently slide the nose, lift the chin, push the fingers down, look up, and exhale, lower down. Legs are long. Just turn the head to the side for a moment and just relax the arms down by the sides of the hips. So we feel the sympathetic nervous system engaged. Notice the calm that comes to the body. You notice the breath slow down. You may even notice your breath deep in your belly. Okay. So we're going to take our feet just a little bit wider than the mat. Yeah? Front of the feet push down onto the floor. When you push the front of the feet down, you feel the kneecaps lift. Feel the buttocks engage, the tailbone scoop down. The lower part of the body is really strong. Hands under shoulders. Nice breath in as we slide the nose, lift the chin, and we look up for a little cobra. Push the fingers down, draw the shoulders away from the ears, and 
and we slowly lower the torso down to the floor. So we keep the legs wide just to make it accessible. One more. Inhale, we slide the nose, lift the chin, push the hands down, lift, look up. So we hold it here. Push the fingers into the floor as you breathe in. Feel the breath from the pubic bone over the navel up to the chin and exhale, we lower down. Bring the feet together, turn the head to the side and bring the hands down by the sides and we just take a moment just to rest and relax. Feel the breath in the back and just notice that feeling of nourishment and peace. As we release stagnation in all the muscles and all the channels, all the energy channels in the body. Okay, so we're going to bring our hands under our shoulders, toes tuck under, and we're going to push back into child's pose. Big stretch. We want knees together, we want bottom to heels, we're going to push the hands against the mat, crown of the head tilts to fingers. A little bit of a stretch. And then we roll up onto all fours. Yeah? Now we're going to come up just to try a little crow. Just something that challenges us just a little bit. Big toes, uh, heels together, toes turn out, fingers wide, and we plant the hands down under the shoulders. All the knuckles of all the fingers nice and wide. We lean forward up onto the balls of the feet. And we take the knees to the back of the upper arm. We lift one foot, lift the other. We take the weight into the fingers. We try and straighten the arms, breathing in and breathing out. Heels lift to the bottom and then lower down. Just a little challenge. And then we come down onto our backs. Okay? Just lie down on backs, legs long, palms face up, in Shavasana, eyes closed, we just allow everything to soften and settle, just for a moment. So there might be little aches and pains. You might feel a little bit of a niggle in the back or the wrist. Or we just allow everything to soften and settle. See if you can breathe in through your nose and breathe out. We'll count our breaths in, two, three, four, exhale two, three, four, one more, in, feel the belly expand, ribs expand, tips of shoulders broaden, exhale, just feel everything soften and settle, lovely, so we're going to lift our hands and our feet into the air, hands and feet lift into the air, we're going to flick and jiggle, flick and jiggle, flick and jiggle, big shake, big shake, huh? So we want to build a lovely strong core and have nice loose limbs. And then we allow everything to flop down onto the floor. Just close your eyes and feel that beautiful sparkle in your wrists and ankles. Fingers interlace, hands behind the head, feel the elbows on the floor, shoulders relax. Bring your knees together, ankles together, big toes together, toes point, breathe in. Exhale, we pull the toes back towards the head. We lift the head and shoulders, squeeze the elbows in front of the forearm. Inhale, lower the head to the floor, pointing toes. Exhale, we pull toes back, lifting head and shoulders, squeezing elbows. One more, inhale. And exhale, lifting head, lifting shoulders. And inhale, lower down. Slide the heels up behind the bottom, knees together, ankles together, big toes together, fingers interlace, hands behind the head. Nice big breath into the belly and both knees to the right side of the body. Push the top hip forward, keep the back of the neck nice and relaxed, both elbows and shoulders nice and relaxed. Inhale middle, exhale knees squeeze over to the left side. Just try and keep your knees together. Inhale up to middle. Exhale, knees to the right. So knee on knee, ankle on ankle, big toe on big toe. 
Inhale, middle. Exhale, knees over to the left side. Gently lengthening the back of the neck. Inhale, back. And then we're going to lift our knees up to our chest and squeeze the knees. Huh? Interlace fingers in front of the knees, big breath in. And exhale, we lift our forehead to our knees. So we're building a little bit of core strength. Inhale, lower the head to the floor. Exhale, we lift our forehead to our knees. All the breath out. Feel your bottom squeezing. Inhale, back. One last one. Exhale, we lift forward to knees. And we bring our hands behind our head and the head to the floor. So we take a breath in and we're going to lift and lengthen our left leg. So right knee stays bent. Yeah? The higher the leg is to the ceiling, the easier it is on the lower back. And the lower you take the leg to the floor, the more challenging you will find it. So just take the leg to where you feel most comfortable. Nice big breath in. And we lift our left elbow to our right knee. Left elbow to right knee. Feel the squeeze just in the side of the waist. Inhale back. We swap legs. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale back. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Inhale back. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale back. And we'll do 10. Dynamic breath out through the mouth. Squeeze the knees nice and high to the chest. Bring the arms nice and wide. Hands out wide in line with shoulders, palms press on the floor. Nice big breath in. Keep the knees glued together. Yeah? See if you can squeeze them together. Big breath in and exhale, knees over to the right side of the body. Use the hands, push the hands onto the floor. Feel the knees squeeze. Inhale. Knees back to centre, belly expands, ribs open. Exhale, knees over to the left side. Squeezing inside knees together will protect the belly and the lower back. Inhale, back to middle. One more time to the right side, pushing hands down. Nose is looking at the ceiling. Knees squeezing to the right. Inhale, middle. Exhale, knees over to the left. Inhale, back to centre. Now, if you want to take it a tiny little bit further, we lift the legs, pull the toes back. Heels together, ankles together, big toes together, big breath in, and exhale. We take the feet over towards the right hand. Yeah? Gently pushing hands down. If you need to, you can soften the knees. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale, over towards the left hand. Both hands pushing down. Just feel the belly relax. Inhale, middle. One more time. To the right side. Exhale. Nose looking to the ceiling. Use the power of the arms. Inhale, centre. Last one. Over to the left. Inhale, back to middle. We squeeze the knees up to the chest. Draw the knees up. Feel the entire length of the spine supported by the floor. And just notice how when you breathe in, the thighs are pushed away from the, from the belly. And when you breathe out, you can draw the thighs nice and high up to the chest. One more time. Big breath in, belly expands, thighs move away. And as you breathe out, drawing thighs up towards the chest. We're going to pop our feet down on the floor. Feet are a little bit wider than your bottom. Toes are pointing forward. If you can, Bring your hands to the front of your ankles. And if you can't reach them, this is when we use our belt. Yeah? So you can take your belt or a, or a tea towel or your scarf, whatever you would like to use. Yeah? And you place it uh, in front of the ankles and hold on to either end of the belt. So it feels exactly the same as if you were holding on to the front of your ankles. Yeah? The belt allows us to feel the integrity of the pose. So we're able to roll the back of the shoulders down onto the mat. Feel the back of the neck lengthen, toes point forward. Nice big breath in. And exhale, we squeeze the bottom, scooping tailbone under, and we lift the hips nice and high. 
Inhale, lower hips down, gathering energy with the breath in. Exhale, toes push down, bottom squeezes, hips lift, shoulders roll under. Back of the neck lengthens, front of the throat softens. Inhale, lower down. And again, exhale, all the breath out. Lifting hips, pushing toes down. Inhale, lower. One last time, slowly, exhale, big lift. Feel the toes anchor down onto the floor. Inhale, lower the belly down, lower the bottom down, and we'll do eight big ones. Yeah? Dynamic breath up through the mouth and seven, and we hold the last one up. Feel into the feet. See if you can spread your toes, plant the toes down on the floor. Feel the chest emerge from in between the upper arms by rolling the shoulders under. Soften the throat, feel the back of the neck lengthen. Big breath in and exhale. We slowly lower the bottom down. Yeah. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide, just for a moment, just to feel this beautiful openness in the body. Closing eyes. Feel the warmth in the thighs and the belly. And then we gently close our knees. Yeah? So heels are comfortably away from the bottom. Big toes almost touched. Little bit of space in between the big toes. But big toes are turned in. A little bit of space in between the heels. And we turn our hands down. Put the strap to the side of the body now rolling the back of the shoulders down. Feel the upper arms, the elbows, the palms and fingers all connect with the floor. Big breath in, exhale, pushing down with the toes. We squeeze the bottom, scooping tailbone under and we lift the hips. Asana, yeah? We use ujjaya breath. Lips closed, teeth just parted. Tip of the tongue sits on the back of the top teeth and we gently contract the throat so that as we breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose, you can hear your breath on the inside of your head. Now, if you want, if you want to take it a bit further, interlace fingers under the back, we roll right shoulder under, left shoulder under, and we feel the entire length of the arm push into the floor. Big toes almost touching, nice big breath in. If you want to take it a bit further, we lift our right foot, pat of the right foot lifts to the ceiling. As you breathe in, right foot lifts. As you breathe out, left foot, pushes down onto the floor. Soften the throat, breathe in and breathe out. One more, breath in and we slowly lower the foot down. Big toes almost touching, hands relax, lower the bottom down. Just hold everything here, just for a moment. We feel this beautiful flood of energy and lightness come to the body. Feel the ease with which you can breathe in and out through your nose. Beautiful. Okay. So head looks straight to the ceiling. Yeah? Toes turn slightly in, palms turn down, big breath in, and we squeeze the bottom, lift the hips, palms, fingers, elbows, shoulders all connect. Big breath in, belly lifts, big breath out, toes push down. See if you can spread your toes, plant the palms down, and then if you want, we interlace fingers behind the back. Rolling right shoulder under, left shoulder under, throat relaxes. We take a breath in, and we lift our left leg up. Ball of the foot lifts as you breathe in. Feel the pad of the foot lift to the heavens as you breathe out. Feel the right foot push down. Feel the arms, feel the chest emerge. One more, breath in and breath out. Last one, inhale. And slowly lower the foot down, big toes almost touch. That's our point of reference. Release the hands, lower the bottom down, slide the legs long, palms face up, feet flop out, and we just allow all of that to soften and settle. As you breathe in, feel the flow of energy from the balls of the feet up the insides of the instep inside of the calf, up the inside of the leg, feel that beautiful tingling of fresh blood and oxygen all through the body. 
belly, chest, palms of the hands, the fingertips. Feel the soft rise that comes with the breath in. Feel everything relax. Okay, so bending knees. We bend our knees. Heels are up near the bottom and the hands are out nice and wide. Hands on our shoulders, palms turned down. We're going to lift our right leg, pop it over our left. Tuck toes behind the left ankle, nice big breath in. And we lower the knees over to the left side of the body. Pull the hands, the fingertips push down on the floor and just feel this nice little squeeze in the belly. Inhale, knees to centre and exhale, knees over to the left side, back of the neck lengthens. One more time, inhale and exhale, knees to the left, push the hands down, back of the neck lengthens, all the breath out. Turn the palm up on the right hand, turn your head and look to your right fingers. So as you breathe in, feel the chest open, feel the fingers stretch, take your eyes to the fingers on the right hand. As you breathe out, push the hand, the left hand down onto the floor. And notice how your knees can squeeze just a little bit more. Breath in and breath out. Push the hand down, feel the knees squeezing, and then inhale everything back to centre. Gently unwind the legs and slide them nice and long, just for a moment. Arms face up, feet flop out. You feel this lovely warmth in the thighs, beautiful softness in the body. Might feel it all the way up to your cheeks. And we bend our knees again. Heels near the bottom. Lift the left leg, pop it over the right. See if you can tuck toes behind the right ankle and pop the right ankle down on the floor. Arms are wide, palms turned down on the floor, big breath in, and both knees over to the right side of the body. And we just feel it, so push the fingers down. Feel the arms, feel the rib cage open, feel the belly strong. Inhale back. And again, exhale, knees to the right side. Nose is looking straight to the ceiling. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, knees over. Hold the knees here. Take a breath in, turn the palm up on the left hand. We turn our head and look to our left fingers. As you breathe in, left fingers stretch. As you breathe out, push the right hand down onto the floor, palm turned down. Inhale, right fingers stretch. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, everything back to centre. Gently unwind the legs, slide them long, feet flop out, hands by hips, palms face up. We close our eyes. And we just allow everything to soften and settle. Notice the breath calm. Notice the stillness in the body. So we've prepared for concentration and focus. We've prepared the body so we can sit and meditate, or study, or read. Any distraction. Close the eyes just for a moment. And just feel the stillness. Feel the warmth. Feel the floor rise up to support the back of the body. And feel the front of your body lovely and light. So we're going to squeeze knees up to chest, big breath in, and exhale, we lift our forehead to our knees. Just three little rolls. Inhale, shoulders, exhale, heels. Inhale, shoulders, exhale, heels. Nice and slow. One more time. Inhale, and exhale, we come up to sit. So we're going to cross our ankles. Just come on to all fours. So we're just going to finish 
with a tiny little twist. But before we do that, we'll just do a down dog. So tuck toes under, feet are as wide as hands. All the fingers are nice and wide. All the knuckles of the, all the fingers press into the floor. Nice big breath in. And we lift our knees, lift our buttocks, and we gently stretch back. Pushing hands against the mat. Ears are in line with upper arms. Crown of the head tilts to fingers. And if you need to, gently soften the knees. We feel this length and expansion in the rib cage. Crown of the head tilts to fingers. And we gently slide the shoulder blades down the back of the rib cage. Take a breath in here and see if you can anchor your heels down onto the floor. Inhale, we lift heels. Exhale, we lower heels down. One more time. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, lower heels. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, we lower heels to the floor. Just feel the hands and the heels anchor down onto the mat. We come down onto knees. Knees wide, big toes touch, hips to heels for forwards virasana. You can either take one fist on top of the other, throw it on the fist, or you can bring your head to the floor and hands down by heel. Just let everything soften and settle. And then we slowly bring our hands next to our head, push down with the hands, curl the torso, and we come to sit. In hero pose, Virasana, knees together, ankles together, big toes together, hands out beside us. We gently lift the chin up, nice and slowly. Feel the throat stretch, feel the back of the neck weightless, and exhale, we lower the chin down to the chest. Then lift the gaze. We're going to take our right ear to our right shoulder. Gently walk the fingers away on the opposite hand. And then head to centre. We're going to take our left ear to our left shoulder. Walk the opposite fingers away. We feel this lovely release down the side of the neck and top of the shoulder. Inhale hands to the left. Left hand sits inside right palm, thumb pads together. Palms soft. Crown of the head lifts, chest is lifted. Eyes closed. Jaw is soft, teeth just parted. As you breathe in, feel the belly, the chest, the tips of shoulders broaden. And as you breathe out, just feel the sit bones settle down in between the heels. Open the eyes, look up, palms together, and exhale, we lower hands down in front of the chest. Fingertips to forehead. Thank you for joining me today. Hope to see you soon.